فلسطين اللهم تقبل شهداءهم اللهم أطعم جوعاهم اللهم كن معهم يا رب العالمين وأشهد أن سيدنا ونبينا ومعلمنا وحبيبنا وشفيعنا يوم العبد على الله سيدنا محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم اللهم صل وسلم وبارك عليه وعلى آله وصحبه وارض اللهم عن ساداتنا أبي بكر وعمر وعثمان وعلي وعن الصحابة أجمعين وعنا معهم يا رب العالمين أما بعد ما في برادس أسسوس We begin by thanking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by giving shukr to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for allowing us to witness yet another year. The year just started in 2024. And as I always say, there is no religious significance for the new year because we already have our own Hijri calendar. That's the one we follow. However, it's a, it's a good opportunity for all of us to pause and reflect, right? To pause and reflect. So brothers and sisters, the past year, there are so many people who were with us here. Perhaps they were praying next to you, they were sitting with you at the table. Some people that you know, were with you in you know, your working place and you traveled with them, but they're no longer with us, subhanAllah. And every single day that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives you is an opportunity from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. An opportunity to rectify yourself, an opportunity to show Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that you're sincere about connecting or reconnecting with Him again. So we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to forgive our shortcomings in the previous year and we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to bless this year, Ya Rabbil Alameen, and to make it year Ayat Mubarak, Ya Rabbil Alameen. Allahumma Ameen. Dear brothers and sisters, throughout our, uh, our journey in this dunya and the hereafter, there are five crucial days that we need, to, we need to understand very well, we need to know them, and we need to know how to, to, know how to deal with each and every one of them. Top five important or the most important days in our life. And I will go fast inshallah just for the sake of time. اليوم المفقود واليوم المشهود واليوم المورود واليوم الموعود واليوم المودود. These are the five days. اليوم المفقود is the day that had passed already. The day yesterday, the day before, the year before, the year before, and so on and so forth. This is an extremely important day. Why? Because they will never come back to us until the day of judgment. To either witness with us or against us. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make it witness before us. Allahumma ameen. So brothers and sisters, yesterday, how should we deal with the day yesterday? The day already passed. What should we do? Number one, we should pause and reflect and make a step forward and talk to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Okay, we see a stuff for Allah. Very important. Right? Because that day, brothers and sisters, you know, we come to left, we try to do a lot of good deeds, but also we commit a lot of some sins, right? So we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to forgive our shortcomings and our sins for yesterday. And brothers and sisters, we should understand that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is before Rahim and I mean it. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen, Ar Rahman Ar Rahim. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us in Surah Al Fatiha that He is the most merciful subhanahu wa ta'ala. Yesterday passed, but brothers and sisters, doesn't matter what we did, there is always a chance, there is always second chance for all of us until we depart, until we leave this dunya. You know the story of Iblis alayhi wa when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala kicked him out of Jannah. He said to, to Allah, وَعِزَّتِكَ وَجَلَالِكَ He believed in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He said, I swear by your glory that I will continue with guiding them until the last moment, until the last breath. I will continue with guiding them. I will make them lose hope in you. I will make them give up on you. I will make them know or feel that there is no tawbah, there is no way back for them. That al yawm al mafqood is gone and there is no way to correct al yawm al mafqood or the day that already passed. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with his rahmah, he responded back to Iblis and he said, وَعِزَّتِي وَجَلَالِي I swear by my glory that I will continue forgiving them as long as they ask for forgiveness. The day passed, but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is ready to start a brand new chapter with you. The year passed, but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is ready. If you come forward to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will extend and on his hand and will accept your tawbah. قُلْ يَا عِبَادِ يَا الَّذِينَ أَسْرَفُوا عَلَىٰ أَنفُسِهِمْ لَا تَقْنَتُوا مَا رَحْمَةِ اللَّهِ إِنَّ اللَّهَ يَغْفِرُ الذُّنُوبَ جَمِيعًا O my servant, he did not say all sinners, he said O my servant, those who wrong themselves, do not give up, do not despair from the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, for Allah, 
who Allah is capable of forgiving all the sins. The brothers and sisters, a young man, I've told another mistake that we make. Number one is we don't, if you don't make trouble, that's a big mistake. The second thing that we, we do, brothers and sisters, and that's also not right, which is dwelling too much in the past. Right? You literally waste half of your day just regretting things that you've done in the past. I wish I've done, I wish I've done that, I wish I've this, and you keep on regretting, regretting, regretting again. Right? And you're missing out the opportunity that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given you, which is today. The Prophet sallallahu tells us, do not say law, don't say f. فَإِنَّ لَوْ تَفْتَحَ أَبْلَغَ الشَّيْطَانِ Law opens the doors for shaitan. I wish I'd done that. I wish I'd joined that school. I wish I'd did this. I wish I'd done that. If you can learn and benefit from the past, alhamdulillah, just move on. Right? Do move on. But dwelling too much in the past, brothers and sisters, it's one of the biggest mistakes that all of us make. Right? You hear the statement, do not cry over spilled milk. You hear this all the time. And what's the story behind it? One time there was a school, a university professor, he entered into the classroom and with him, he had a glass of, of milk. So basically, the students were just sitting and watching, observing, right, what he was going to do with the glass of milk. So he put it in the table in front of him, and right? everyone's still watching and observing. Then the professor, you know, he came with his hand, and what happened? The glass of milk, you know, fell on the floor, and the whole milk spilled on the floor. And then everyone was just surprised at what he's trying to accomplish here. So he said, do not cry over spilled milk, right? What you should do here, either you try to clean it up and move on, or just sit and whine and cry, all right? And instead of moving, just clean it up, Khalas, it's already on the floor, what else you can do? Next time, be careful. That's a very small example that for us brothers and sisters that we dwell too much in the Yawm al-Mafkut. Yawm al And because of that, we forget the most important thing which is al Yawm al mashhud What is al Yawm al mashhud al Yawm al mashhud brothers and sisters, is our day. It's today. The minute you, you wake up in the morning, the first thing you say, Alhamdulillah, and there's a reason for that. Why would you say Alhamdulillah? Alhamdulillah, Lillahi Ahyana, Ba'dama, Amatana, Wa Ilayhi Nusur. That's the dua. You ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for giving you another opportunity. Brothers and sisters, there are some people who slept last night somewhere in the world and they never got an opportunity to come back and see Astaghfirullah. There are some people who were just with us and now they don't have a second chance. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given you an eye. Second chance, why would you say Alhamdulillah when you wake up? That's the Yawm al-Mashhud, brothers and sisters. And the problem is, we do not focus too much on the Yawm al-Mashhud. And the Yawm al-Mashhud, brothers and sisters, Ibn Ibn Hassan Basri, Allah Ta'ala says, Ya Ibn Adam, Ya Ibn Adam, every single day, the day calls you and says, Ya Ibn Adam, Ana Yawm al-Jadid wa ala amalika shaheed, fattanilni, O son of Adam, I'm a new day, I'm coming here to witness for you or against you, right? Fattanilni. Take advantage of me. It's another, it's an opportunity from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. فَغَتَنِمْنِي فَإِنِّي لَنَعُودَ إِلَى يَوْمُ الْقِيَامَةِ I will never return back until the day of judgment. This is a yawm al-mashhur, brothers and sisters. What, can, what should we do? Our salawat, our zakawat, our connection with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We greet what we did in the past and say, Allah maghfir lana, the nubad, it doesn't matter. It's big, it's small. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is ready to forgive and start a brand new chapter with you. Why would you come forward to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Al yawm, al yawm al mashhur, brothers and sisters, is the day in which if you have na'am from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, small na'am, the hadith that we hear all the time. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, tells us, man asbaha aminan fi sirbih, beautiful hadith, man asbaha aminan fi sirbih, mu'afan fi badani, indahu kuta yawmi, faka'annama hizat lahu dunya bihada fi riba. The Prophet said, if you wake up in the morning, safe, safe, right? Aminan fi sirbih. You're not expecting a bomb to be dropped on top of your house. Brothers and sisters are looking right now. You know what I'm talking about. Just picture this. Can you picture that? You're sleeping in your house with your own children, the people who bless them. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make it easy for them. See Allah from the bottom of your heart. That they say, we sleep all in one room. Because if we die, all of us will die together. 
Just picture this in your mind. So the Prophet says, if man asbaha amina fi sibh, you hear the hadith of the Prophet but unless you are in a situation, you're not going to understand that. The Prophet says, man asbaha amina fi sibh, you're safe in your house. You know you're sleeping. You have the heat in your house. You have the food in your house. You're safe. You're secure. If you have this ni'ma, mu'afan fi badani, healthy, you have enough, you have health. And the fact that that you are seeing me right now, the fact that you can hear me right now, that's a ni'mah that you should thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for. That I can tell you. Go to the hospital and you will see some people, they wish they have 1% of the ni'mah that you have. Say alhamdulillah for this. Right? مَنْ أَصْبَحَ آمِنَ فِي سِبْرِ مُعَافًا فِي بَدَنِي هَلْفِي عِنْدَهُ قُوْتَ يَوْمِ You have enough provision for the day. فَكَأَنَّ مَا حِيْذَ You have enough provision, risk for the day. Just a piece of bread for the day. If you have these three, as if you own the whole entire world. We hear this hadith all the time, but we cannot reflect unless we think of our brothers and sisters in Gaza. Right? They don't have food. There's no food, there's no water, there's no electricity. The things that we take for granted, they don't even have these things. They don't know if they're going to have food for the night or not. They don't know. They beg the world. They say, we don't want food for ourselves, but we need something for our children. At least for the children, the babies who are crying. We need something for them. And the only mashur is that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given you this. You and I, we have these three things. Alhamdulillah, say alhamdulillah for this. So what would we dwell in the past too much. We already have this now to be Alhamdulillah. And that's a young and mashur that takes me to the next day just for the sake of time, inshallah. A young, the next day, brother, sister, a young mafkur, a young and mashur, and then we have a young and mawrur, which is tomorrow. Tomorrow. Tomorrow, that we do not even know whether it's going to come or not. We don't know. Honestly, we don't know. If I ask anybody to raise their hand and say, Hey Shaykh, no, tomorrow will come, I'll be alive. Allah wa'ala, we we'll don't know this. We we'll don't know whether we're going to leave this message or not. But that, what does it mean? Does it, does it mean that we should not plan for tomorrow? We have five years and, and ten years plan. We should, absolutely not. Omar al-Khattab says, Work for your dunya and know you will live forever. You're not going to die. Be the most successful businessman. Be the best student in the class. Be the best physician and engineer because we want Muslims to be strong. But when it comes to al-Akhirah, Omar al-Khattab says, When it comes to dunya, work as though you're dying tomorrow. If someone was to tell you that you're going to die tomorrow, what is the first thing you would do? Think about it. Pause and reflect. That's al yawm al mawrud Brothers and sisters, what we do is, is that we regret the past too much, we dwell into the past too much, and we worry too much about the future. And guess what? So half of the day, half of al yawm al mashud we are regretting things we've done in the past, and half of al yawm al mashud the rest of the day, we worry too much about the future. And guess what? We're forgetting the most important day, which is the Yom Mashur, the day where we live to get today. We don't know tomorrow will come or not. We go. We go. I remember just a short story that I will share with you. When I was serving as Imam in New York City, there was one brother who used to be from Mussolini al Fajr. So this brother, uh, I asked him to take me somewhere. He came with me somewhere and he waited to Maghrib and Aisha with me and we came back to pray Salat al Aisha. Throughout the whole entire ride, he was telling me, Sheikh, you know, uh, he was telling me how much he loved Mercedes and all of that. Obviously, I'm not promoting Mercedes or anything, but how much he loved the car, the vehicle, and he's planning to get the, the, the latest model and all of that. And he has plans for his business. He was doing very, very well, mashallah, in, in life, right? So, alhamdulillah, I said, Allah bless you, brother. The brother came back to the masjid, we pray, I shared together. And then I pray Salat al and the brother always, always in Salat al He came late, so I didn't say salam to him. After I finished, he was, you know, finishing up his salah. After the salah, I wanted to wait for him, and I wanted to go home. So I didn't get to see salah to the brother. A few hours later, I come for salah to the Everyone's crying. What's going on? They said the brother passed away. And I was like, Inna lillahi wa inna lillahi wa And then I go, like, he was very special to my heart, just like special Mussolini Fajr, right? So I go, you know, the tafsir and tafsir and all of that. I'm just looking at him. I was like, subhanAllah, like, I can't believe that we were just talking last night about the dreams and the plans and all of these things. Again, don't don't try don't get it as if I'm telling you don't plan for tomorrow. We should plan for tomorrow, but we should not worry too much about tomorrow. We should put our full trust in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because 
reality of the matter is وَمَا تَدْرِي نَفْسٌ مَا لَا تَكْسِبُ غَدَا We don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. So we should not dwell too much in the past and we should not worry too much about the future. Brothers and sisters, اليوم المورود should just focus on our day for now. Brothers and sisters, you know when you were a student, and this is more for our youngsters, you said, I can't wait to finish high school so I can go to college. And when you're in college, you say, I can't wait, you know, to graduate from college and get a job. And when you get a job, I can't wait to get married and have children. And when you have children, I cannot wait my kid, until my kids grow up and they become more free. And when you deal with that, still something comes up. It's not gonna, it's not gonna end, right? So my advice to myself and the brothers and sisters, enjoy the moment. Enjoy the day which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given you, which is now. Enjoy that day. Right? You have your family with you. You have your children with you. All right? You have some community with you. Enjoy these things. Because you never know what's coming tomorrow. Right? As this is a very important point. You know, a lot of brothers and sisters, subhanAllah, we, we came to the U.S. for a better life. Right? That's a better future for ourselves, for our kids. Right? But wallahi, you see a lot of immigrants like ourselves, subhanAllah, they keep on saving and saving and saving and building homes back home, building mansions, because one day they will say, I'll come home and come back one day. And guess what? All the 99% of the time, they don't even get to enjoy that mansion over there. Right? And they deprive themselves and their children from good life in here because of that. Enjoy the day, plan for tomorrow, but don't focus too much on tomorrow that you miss out on your day. And that takes me to the next one after the short break, inshallah. Something severe for them. The day of judgment is coming, brothers and sisters. 
we do not want to compromise in Jannah because in Jannah, and they will conclude with this, the Prophet ﷺ tells us that as soon as you enter Jannah, Munadi Ta'ala, a caller will, have, will call and he will say, Ya Ahlan Jannah, Inna lakum an tahyu fala tamutu abada. O people who inhabit, people inhabit Jannah, may Allah make us from the people of Jannah, say Allahumma ameen. Inna lakum an tahyu fala tamutu abada. You will live, there is no more death khalas. You're not going to lose your friends, your beloved ones, your family members, right? Our brothers and sisters are not going to suffer no more. Your brothers, your sisters, your, your parents, your loving mafrat of parents, right? You are connected again with them. No more mount. There is no more depression. There is no more anxiety. There is no more sorrow. There is no more sadness. There is no more sickness. There is nothing like this. Always happiness and joy, and that's it. And, uh, you know, basically you will never get old. You're always still young and strong. Alhamdulillah. And you will never get hungry. You never get angry. This is Jannah. Do we really want to compromise on that for this dunya? This dunya is not meant to be for this. If someone was to tell me, Sheikh, you know, I want, I want to be happy in everything. I want a perfect job, perfect wife, perfect child, perfect health. I don't want to suffer with anything. I would say good luck, brother, good luck, sister. You're talking about Jannah, and Jannah is not here yet. This is dunya. This is the dunya of test. We need to be tested for a short amount of time. If we have sabr, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will wipe out our sins. If we do not have sabr, whatever Allah decides will happen, and we're not going to be rewarded for that. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allow us to be mindful of the yawm al-mafqood, and the yawm al-mashhood, and the yawm al and the yawm al and the yawm al-mawdood, ya Rabbi Alameen. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to bless this community. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to bless our children and our families, ya Rabbi Alameen. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to give sabr and nasr, aziz mu'azza to our brothers, sisters, and brothers of Palestine. Allahumma ameen wa aqim as-salat, inna as-salat, ta'kanat ala al-mu'mineen.